what is up guys tech geeks hd here and today i have with me the yu eureka and i'm going to tell you that how you can exchange the battery life and reduce heating in the eureka so i have done this method and i'm uh, using it for past three days with the same method i have seen and tremendous uh, response and very good battery backup and reduced heating problems in eureka so for that you must be first be rooted for the same so you have to root your eureka and if you don't know how to root your eureka and so you, what you should do is i have another video in my channel so you can go and check out that so after that what you have to do is you have to just download an app called no frill cpu which you can get from the play store and after you've done it you have to click this and then it will ask for you the root permissions you have to give that and here in the max frequency I have set it to 1 minimum is uh, I have uh, set it to 533 MHz but you can set it but according to me 533 MHz is good and in minimum I have set it to 1.267 GHz which is also fine so I've reduced the clock speed of over 300 GHz, 300 MHz and all of the steps are same the governance is interactive and you just click and apply on boot and just have to click the apply button so it's shown that success minimum and we see that it has been granted the super user permissions with this simple step you can uh, extend your battery life and reduce the heating problems and I've tried it I played subway surface for 10 minutes and the battery was dropped only just 1% and when I played dead trigger on this which you know it's a very intense AI game I played it for 30 minutes and the battery drop was 3 to 4% I guess and on, the, on full charge of 100% I'm on heavy usage I'm approximately getting 8 to 9 hours of battery backup heavy usage means of checking of whatsapp facebook gaming etc and you would like to be basic casual browsing and for Facebook WhatsApp, if you dare like that, if you uh, use just basic WhatsApp and just general browsing, then it may last you more than a day uh, because uh, it has lasted me more than one day when I didn't game and just use my phone for just browsing and calling with Wi Fi and 3G networks occasionally. So, this is a simple step how you can extend your battery life and reduce the heating of your Eureka. So, now let me show you the uh, Temperature, the Eureka itself. So I'm sure that the CPU is the application. The CPU set application. So now let us save it. And as you can see that the uh, clock speed is at it's showing 200 megahertz, 1500, uh, 1.5 gigahertz. But the maximum speed is 1.012, and it constantly remains up to 800 in this only. So it saves a lot of battery for you. And battery percentage you can see it's 36 degree normally when it used to be in 1.5 gigahertz it was almost uh, going up to 40 to 43 degree celsius normal and while gaming it was almost going up to 60 so now it's tremendously reduced and it's very nice as well as the battery percentage is 34.6 and all of these stops are given here so guys it was a simple process you can also follow it but the only requisite is you should be rooted with your Eureka so I hope you enjoyed my video. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel that is TechGeekCHD. You can also follow me up on the Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. The links are given below in the description. So once again, thanks a lot for watching guys. This is Hi Krishna signing off and I will catch you guys soon in the next one. Till then, peace.